Hey home bakers, it's Jack here, bakewithjack.co.uk, bringing you your weekly bread making tip every single Thursday. And this week is something I touched upon a couple of weeks ago. Here's why I never, never use a mixer to knead my dough. Let's go. Hey you guys and welcome back to the Bake With Jack YouTube channel where I share with you a little bit of my bread making expertise every single Thursday. If that's the sort of thing that turns you on, if that's what gets you excited like 30,000 other people consider pressing that subscribe button before you go. Let's get on with it. This week's a quick one because I always work my dough by hand. In class, we do have mixes, but we always work our dough by hand. And there is a reason for that. Back in the olden days of Bake With Jack, I used to use a mixer with a dough hook on it to get me out of a pickle. If I had a lot of stuff on, I used to pop a dough in there or zip about the house, etc. But the trouble is, I never really knew when it was ready. I'd put it in the mixer and set a timer for six minutes or eight minutes or whatever and have a little peek back at it, but I never knew where it was. I'd have a feed of the dough, it'd be sticky, it'd be sticking to the thing, it'd be sticking to the sides of the bowl. I'd never really know where it was. When you work in dough by hand, you feel it in the beginning. You feel it all the way till the end, to when you think it's ready. It changes the whole time and you get to experience that all by yourself. Sometimes in a mixer, the dough clings to the dough hook for dear life and spins around in a circle. And sometimes it sticks to the outside of the bowl and the hook just gives it a little tickle in the middle. In both of these scenarios, I have no idea what's going on. No idea whatsoever. When I do it by hand, I get to feel it along the way. I feel the change. And you know what? Eight minutes of nice work just by yourself in the quiet is actually quite a nice and peaceful thing to do. So why would I put it in a mixer anyway? Oftentimes I'll be stood by my mixer while it was doing its thing, babysitting it and scraping down the hook and scraping down the sides with a spatula every couple of minutes just to make sure it was getting worked completely. And so in that case, why would I bother doing it? Why wouldn't I just do it anyway by myself if I had to babysit the mixer? Hmm? When you do work dough by hand, you are probably subconsciously changing what you do. You don't want to tear the dough. You don't want to rip it. And as it comes together, it becomes more elastic. It becomes tighter and more responsive to what you're doing. And on the subconscious level, you're tailoring what you do, giving it less work, less stress on the way as it becomes a nice dough. Your mixer goes 100% start to finish, regardless of what your dough is feeling. So there you go. I told you it was a quick one. Uh, that's why I never use a mixer. I do everything by hand. In class, we do everything by hand. We feel the dough and get used to it. That We're really making the bread. If you put your ingredients into a mixer, who's making the bread now? You or Robot Kenwood? Plus, that noise does my head in. That bzzz going round, that does my nut. Listen, if this video has been helpful to you, I hope it has on some sort of level. I'm not sure, who knows? I hope it's been helpful to you. If it has, if you liked it, please click that thumbs up button. If you want to stick around for next week, hey, click subscribe and you'll be here every single Thursday, just like me and 30,000 other people. I look forward to seeing you next week for another weekly bread making tip. Bye bye. Thanks for watching this week's video. You might be pleased to hear that the Bake With Jack shop is now back, fully stocked with Bake With Jack scrapers, cloths, grignettes, and bread making bits and bobs. If there's anything that you need to help you make amazing bread at home, head over to bakewithjack.co.uk forward slash shop. Shipping worldwide. See you next week.